Brandon Belt of the San Francisco Giants had a week. He was our peak power performer, and he was disciplined and fined by Joe Torre for his criticism of umpire Doug Eddings and the insinuation that umpires sometimes make calls based on their desire to hasten the end of the game. Accusations like these usually occur on getaway day, and I'm here to tell you that there's some truth, and I'm telling you right now that there are umpires with reputations for doing stuff like this. In my day, it was Frank Pulley. Now, umpires don't fly on chartered planes like the players do and often miss their flights when games go too long or extra innings. I saw the calls and questions from their game against the Reds, and I can't argue with Belt's criticism. The calls were damn near terrible, and not surprising at all. I saw it for years, and God forbid if Greg Maddox was pitching in Atlanta on getaway day with Frank Pulley behind the dish. The hitters had no chance. Now, bad calls and questionable timing are part of the human element. These guys are human beings after all, but they lack the physical ability and the eyesight it takes to play professional baseball. Most do the best they can, but I disagree with Belt when he said 99.9% .9 of them are good at their job. That's not even close to true, and nor are the statistics that Major League Baseball hides behind justifying the performance of its umpires. Umpires also get shielded from criticism like the kind levied by Brandon Belt. Umpires routinely avoid the level of accountability that the players, coaches, and front office personnel endure, and it's wrong. Start sending news crews into their locker room after the game and let them justify their calls. Start firing and demoting umpires for poor performances. Major League Baseball is always squawking about a level playing field. So do it. Give the umpires a taste of what the players endure. It's Sunday morning. Can you smell that roast?